Hello everyone, ready to see what I bought this week? Well, here we go. I'm Kristen here at Joe Fleet Thriving, and this is where I share my frugal grocery haul and everything I buy for our family of six on a monthly $500 budget. This month, March, is a little different. We have four birthdays, all four of our kids, and I was under last month, so I actually rolled $85 over into March, my budget, which is great because I did a lot of shopping this week. I went to Aldi twice, I went to Sam's twice because I forgot things, I'll need to pick up more butter, and I went to Kroger to get this week's deals. So I have a lot of different things to share with you. Um, a couple tips about the deals. Aldi last week had the butter at $2.69. They typically will continue continue that sale all the way through Easter. So I haven't seen the ad yet when I'm filming this, but do go ahead and check. Thanks to everyone who gave me the heads up on butter and thought of me. I'm very touched. It means you have learned well from these videos. I'm so excited that you guys are all stocking up on butter as well. I stocked up on butter at Kroger last week, bought some at Aldi this past week, and yes, I will keep going as long as their sale is going on. So again, thankful for that overage. There's some great sales at Kroger again this week. Some carry over from Pat last week, so I'll talk about those at the end as well as some of the deals that you can get with the coupon apps. I know I don't always mention those. There's just so much going on that I wanna mention, and sometimes I just forget. So my go-to apps are Fetch and Ibotta, there are others that I do occasionally use. I will leave referral links to those below because if you haven't used them, it gets you a bonus when you first sign up. They're super easy to use, and this week you can stack some extra savings with the Kroger deals on those. All right, let's get to the groceries. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the previous trips from Aldi and Sam's first, and then we'll end with Kroger, and stay tuned to the end so we can chat more about this week's deals. Did you catch my Sam's video of the instant deals this month? While I was there scoping them all out for you, I grabbed a couple of those, but a couple other good deals as well. Of course, I had to buy chocolate chips. Would you believe I was down to my last big bag of those? I mean, I have many chocolate chips, but you can never get too low on that. Eleven forty-eight for those big bags right there. Cucumbers, three English cucumbers, three eighty-eight. Pork chops. This is what Emma requested for her birthday meal, so eleven eighty-two. Best price I can find on these boneless pork chops, set two seventy-eight, and they always we put just put them on our grill with some seasoned salt. Delicious. Um, very simple. Everyone loves them every time we do that. The Lawry's was five ninety-eight. Still had some, but decided to go ahead and buy it because it was an instant deal. Bought Go-Gurt for the kids, $4.48, great instant deal. Um, that's $2 off through April 7th, fabulous deal. Cottage cheese, haven't tried theirs actually, but it was $4.52, so decided to grab it. And then I had happened to notice some clearance bacon, which was Smithfield, but when I actually looked over then, this member's mark was even cheaper than the clearance. So it was three, it's all taped together, it's three one pound packages for $11.47, or it takes it to three eighty two dollars a pound for full full pound 16 ounces not 12 so i went ahead and grabbed one of those we're gonna give it a try bacon freeze is great too so went ahead and grabbed that and then grabbed this deal on the old spice there were actually two different ones that were instant deals some were smaller grabbed this one it was a little bit more but the price per ounce was better because they were actually bigger packages so paid 11.48 for five packages of deodorant after instant savings that will come out of our grocery budget. The vitamins will not, but I did buy those while I was there. Bought some vitamin C. We have some so many germs going around kindergarten right now and the whole school. So gonna keep taking those <laughs> to get through the year. And then grab two of the gummy vitamins, the little critters. These actually on instant deal were $9.88, which was cheaper than the member mark right now for the same size. And then these were eleven seventy eight for the 300 right there on vitamin C. So for everything here at Kroger, excuse me, for everything here at Sam's, I'm just so used to shopping at Kroger, I spent $76.59 not counting the vitamins. So that's for the total there. And then because I was out, I ran down the street because I knew butter was on sale. Grabbed my limit of six butters at Aldi for $2.69, plus grabbed a large container of vanilla Greek yogurt at $345. So that total was, or excuse me, $349, $19.63 at Aldi. Went back to Aldi for more $269 butter plus three things of vanilla instant pudding at $0.77 cents a box because I realized in the middle of making Emma's birthday pie, I needed one more box of pudding. So grab that on this trip. Yes, I went back to Sam's again because I had forgotten a couple things. So I meant to buy the Kodiak 
pancake and cake mix. If you saw my Sam's video, it's currently on instant special for nine, just over $9 and it's 4.5 pounds. So I'm going to buy those for some protein options here. Needed chicken because teachers are hosting um, a Lenten supper and we're doing tacos. I'm bringing chicken. So grab two packages. It is currently two sixty eight a pound and then grabbed a rotisserie chicken for dinner that night. The chick, the salad, the Southwest salad to go with the chicken for me, two sixty eight. Rotisserie still four ninety eight, and then grabbed a big bag of coleslaw, two pounds at two thirty three to do egg roll in a bowl. So that's what I got on this trip to Sam's, and it was fifty five seventy two because the chicken really added up both of those packages. Let's see, eighteen dollars for that one and seventeen for that. So cheapest price I could get it right now. So grab that while I was there. And here we go. Here are the deals from Kroger this week. These are current sales, so you too can grab any of these when you are watching them. All right, first digital deal this week. This is limit five when you click the digital coupon. Their four pound bags of sugar are $2.49. In comparison, at Walmart, they are currently $3.24, so you're saving 75 cents just by doing this deal. So yes, I bought all five, my limit of five bags for the pantry there great deal. The cereal deal is still going on where if you buy two, you get three free. So these boxes were $4.29. They have an expiration date. They're over a year out, so we're good on that. Um, we don't eat cereal tons, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch is what my kids love, and Lucky Charms did this. It is currently on Ibotta you can get a dollar off when you do two boxes. Now this does include the loaded cereals. Those are priced a little more at $5.99. I wasn't sure any of my kids were gonna love them, but there are some coupons for $1.50 back per box on Ibotta. So that could be a really great deal if you wanna try and stack that. Do go ahead and check it out. Just doing it this way, it works out to like a dollar forty um, a box of cereal, even before the Ibotta rebate. So great deal, great time to stock up on your General Mills cereals. Also includes Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, and a couple others on General Mills this week. Don't need to clip the coupon; it just comes off. There were some great buy one get one free deals. Tyson chicken again, all varieties is buy one get one free. So the larger packs are four forty nine a pound, so it breaks it down to basically two twenty five a pound. Yes, I know I already bought a lot of chicken at Sam's. The sale just came a little too late, but I will prep this one for our freezer. Can't pass up that deal. Grab two packages of that. Kroger sandwich bags are on sale. They are currently buy one get one free, so two forty nine for ninety bags. So it takes it down to a dollar twenty five for ninety bags. Great price. I grabbed two of the sandwich. It's the sandwich, and I think one of the gallon. I have tons of gallon. I was hoping it was on the court, but it wasn't. But grab some sandwich bags. One of the weekly deals is Nestle chocolate chips are two forty nine. The larger bags are cheaper at Sam's, which I bought those. But I grabbed another butterscotch at two forty nine because that was a good deal. Johnson Fell Beef Brats, all varieties of their brats are $2.99 when you clip the digital coupon, limit five. Grab two of the beef, beef brats. We'll I'll stick those in the freezer to get ahead for grilling with those. This, I happen to notice Hillshire, I normally get the beef ones, but these were $1.50 a package. They don't expire for a while yet. They easily freeze great. And you know, if you're going to make um, your pigs in a blanket, this is a great deal. So maybe you want to grab some of those too. Then the other deal was this is a buy one get one free and it's their sausage. All grip varieties of sausage are buy one get one free. So they are $3.19 normally and then I get the second one free. So it works out to $1.60 for a thing of sausage. Fabulous deal, especially since ground pork is coming up to, it's over $2.99 a pound now. So I grabbed those. Um, so yeah, I grabbed, did that deal twice. What you looking for, Caleb? My pistachios. You want pistachios, huh? In the basement. All right, you go see if you find the pistachios. <laughs> That's his favorite snack lately. All right, so I did that deal twice. No coupon needed. Buy one, get one free. Again, no coupon needed on ice cream, but when you buy it in two, in quantities of two, they're $1.99 each. So we stocked us at ice cream, at chocolate chip, chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough, and cookies and cream. Yes, we're chocolate people here. Milk, because I was there, two sixty nine. dollars Strawberries are $1.47. My son Nathan's the one who loves them the most, but they look decent, so I went and grabbed one of those. And then I happened to notice my digital coupons. If I spent $25 or more, I got a free pizza, so I made sure to grab that, and that was free. I will stick that in. So for everything here on this counter at Kroger, it was $69.96 was what I spent 
All right, let's flip it around and wrap this haul up. Caleb, what you doing? Do you like pistachios? Yes, but my friend can't eat them anymore. <laughs> That's right, he can't. You're right. One of our friends is allergic. <laughs> As Caleb cracks his pistachios, let's talk about this week's deals. Okay, so two times at Sam's, two times at Aldi, one time at Kroger. The total of those five trips ended up being $240.35. Yeah, I had to take notes because there were so many shopping trips. Um, I bought a lot of chicken, as you saw, especially stocking up at Sam's. Did a little bit of restocking. Great deals, though. Restocked, 12 pounds of butter. Um, at Aldi, definitely worth it. it will, all these things will save me money down the road, so I'm happy that I did that. This brings my total for the month to $457.93. Now, normally I'm shopping out of a $500 budget, which that will be cutting it kind of close for another 10 days left in the month, but I rolled a little extra over, so I actually have a $585 budget this month, which gives me, you know, $120 left to spend in this month. So. I feel pretty good about that with where we are. From those different trips um, on the apps, I earned 50 box, bonus box tops because all the cereal, you get your bonus box tops for that. And then I earned 86 points at Fetch. All the General Mills cereal is on there. And it's counting towards some cumulative rewards as well. So there's a lot more points coming on that. Loaded cereal is also on Fetch as well as the regular ones. And then I earned $1.10 on Ibotta for those cereals again and the Any Receipt. Ibotta is great if you have used a coupon app. It's a good one. There's a lot of offers. It does tend to be more on name brand products. The one thing I noticed on Ibotta this week is that there's a $5 off the Arm & Hammer, and that's the deal I did last week without the Arm & Hammer, where it's buy one, get one free. It is on those really large jugs, which is the same thing as the Ibotta deal. So if you do that, that could be an amazing sale because it's about, I have to remember the price, about $11 for one jug, you'll get the second free, plus you would get $5 off on that one jug. So. That would be an incredible deal. In fact, I may actually go back and do it. Stay tuned, let's see if I can get to the store. I have parent-teacher conferences and basketball tournaments and lots of other things going on, but if I can get back, I would definitely do that because that's a great deal. The other thing that I noticed is, like I said earlier, those loaded cereals, if you wanna give those a try, I just didn't know if my kids would love them and them being a little higher, although you had the bonus deals. There's also Kroger cash back on that one too. So you could do that to really stack the savings. But being aware of those deals, stacking all of those things are great ways to do. The reason I love Fetch the most, even more than I bought it, is because it's so simple. All you have to do is literally take a picture of your receipt. It finds all the deals for you. Fetch, you have to go through and select the offers that you've bought but Fetch does all the work for you. Super easy, joyfullythriving.com backslash Fetch, if you need to sign up for it, will get you that link and those bonus points whenever you get started. They always change the bonus promotion. I don't know what it is right now, but that if you haven't signed up, it really is my favorite one to use. All right, those are my best deals. Keep an eye on the butter sales. We are getting closer to Easter. Hopefully some of you are seeing prices go down. Some of you, I know your Aldi's was a little more, some a little less. It's very interesting how it does vary throughout the country, but keep an eye on those sales because you will see butter sales especially in this coming week as we are getting closer to Easter. We should see more of them. Let me know your best deal. And I will be back here next week with my frugal grocery haul, maybe for the end of March. Yep, next week should probably be my wrap-up trip. We'll see how I am doing. You can see if I bought any more butter. If you are curious about what I bought at Sam's and some of those best deals this month, I did film a new video all about all the food instant deals. If you haven't checked that out already, I'll leave the link in the description for that as well. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.